So looking at this part here, we are not provided with the isometric or the right view. So we need to determine what all of the measurements are. Looking at this here, I know my front view is length and height. My right view has depth and length. From these measurements, I should be able to create everything. <clears throat> so I see that this is five and a half by two and three quarters. And then it would be extruded at one and three quarters. So I'm going to start real basic here and make this uh, just as a block and then cut away at it. So those measurements, again, from the front, I would create a rectangle coincident to the origin, that is five and a half by two and three quarters, so 2.75. And then the depth of this part, which is right here, is that one and three quarter measurement. So I would extrude that 1.75. All right, so now I want to start to cut away from this. I could see that there's no material here. I know that the length from this end is three and three eighths, and that this is 13 sixteenths. So I should be able to just draw a rectangle on the top here and define from the end in and from this edge in, and then extrude down removing. So I'll start a sketch, select a rectangle tool, and drop a rectangle in place, providing no dimensions. And then I would select the dimension tool, select these two ends, and drop in my dimension of three and three eighths. So three plus three divided by eight. And then I need a dimension from this back corner right here in 1360. I now have my profile, so I could extrude, remove, and go through all. Along the front face, I see this rectangle here. I don't know if it's built out, if it's going in. I do know the dimensions of it. And then from the top, I see hidden lines. When I see those hidden lines, that tells me some change is happening. So looking here, looking at those hidden lines, I'm assuming that this rectangular cut is going through all. My dimensions are provided right here. So from the top down, 5 eighths, then it's 1 and half wide, and then it's 7 eighths in. So I'll just start my sketch and then snap coincident to this edge and drop this in with no dimensions. I remember this one with seven eighths. This one is one and a half. And then the top down was five eighths. Now I would extrude, remove, and go through all. So now when I look at this part, I'm going to press uh, Shift 1 to look at the front. This looks exactly like that. I'll go to the top, Shift 5. I don't see those hidden lines, but that's my setting. So I could do shaded with hidden. And now I can see that there are, in fact, two hidden edges here, making this look exactly like that. <clears throat> 